Let's do some IFR flight planning on a relatively short flight in California. We're planning on going from Palm Springs, Jacqueline Cochran Regional Airport to 29 Palms, one of the entry points to Joshua Tree Park. Looking at the en route chart, it seems like this is a pretty straightforward flight flying along that airway connecting the thermal and 29 Palms VORs. But the first step in any IFR flight planning is to plan your departure. In a non-mountainous area, this isn't typically too hard, but here in California, we have to follow a departure procedure. The procedure involves navigating within a triangular area bound by these three VORs. This is the jetpison plate for the Mecca 1 departure overlaid on the chart. We can see that we're in a valley here in Palm Springs, which extends to the northwest of us. There's very high mountains on either side, including to the northeast, which is where our destination lies. We'll need to make our climb within this valley as well as over the Salton Sea just to the southeast. The winds favor runway 17, so we're going to look at the initial climb instructions for that runway. We'll be turning left on heading 100. This will be after reaching 400 feet above the departure end of the runway's elevation. That heading will have us intercept the 136 radial off the thermal VOR, which will fly outbound until we're 60 ME from the station. Then, we'll turn left back inbound to the VOR. Once there, we'll turn right to track the 021 radial outbound. The minimum altitude for that is 7,000 feet. This radial puts us on the Victor 208 airway, leading to the 29 Palms VOR. The minimum in route altitude for this is also 7,000 feet. Because our course is northeast bound, an odd 1,000 foot altitude is appropriate, so we'll choose 7,000 as our cruise. When we file, our route of flight will be the Mecca 1 departure, 29 Palms transition. No mention of the airway is needed since that route is incorporated into our transition. Let's see it from the cockpit. First, we'll set the thermal VOR 116.2 into NAV1. The identifier pops up along with the DME distance. We'll push the CDI key to bring up VLOC mode and twist the OBS to set the radial we need to track outbound, 136. Then, we'll put the 29 Palms VOR 114.2 into NAV2. We don't need to track that until later on in the procedure, so we'll put it on the backup VOR and set the radial 199, making sure to put that on the bottom since we'll be flying inbound towards 29 Palms. We also put it on standby on our NAV1. We'll bug our initial heading on the DG 100 degrees. We'll be turning to that when reaching 400 feet above the runway. What will that be on our altimeter? Well, have a look. That's not set wrong or anything. It's actually showing the real field elevation here, 114 feet below sea level. So we'll make our turn when the altimeter reads positive 300 feet. So we make our initial climb on runway heading at 300 MSL. We turn left to 100 degrees. This is our intercept heading for the radial we set on nav 1. So we hold that heading until the needle centers and then turn to track outbound, 136 degrees. We're going to be climbing all the way up to 7,000 and it's at about this time that we get handed off to departure. We're going to track outbound here until the 6 DME, at which point we make a big left turn around inbound again to the thermal VOR. We'll twist the OBS to give us a centered needle with a 2 indication, showing a course of about 305 to follow. This out and back route over the low lying sea allows us plenty of obstacle protection for our climb to get above the mountains. We level off at 7,000 feet, and when we cross thermal, we turn outbound along the 021 radial. And from there, it's just a matter of tracking the airway to the VOR, then we'll get our approach instructions for the destination. Not too bad overall, but when you're flight planning, make sure you're incorporating an appropriate departure procedure into your plan one that will allow for a transition that gets you on a good route towards your destination. And complete your IFR training today by checking out our full ground school in the link here or in the description.